OK, I'm going to show you how to wire up the um, ESP8266 to the Esprino with the little um, Esprino adapter shim that we've got. So the first thing you need is a bit of solid core wire like this. Uh, I'll just strip this. And then all you need is, you know, about that length of it. Um, and then you take it and bend it into a U-shape. So now you've got the U-shape, you take it and you push it through the two um, two sets of end pins there. So depending on the wire you have, it might be quite a tight fit. But so you have those two there, you've got them sticking out of the end. And then you take your little adapter shim, um, you make sure that the, the writing is facing downwards um, and the component sides are up and then you place it on top of these two here. So those two are now aligned, they should be sticking a little bit proud at the bottom. Um, and then you take it, you make sure these are all nicely aligned and then you clamp it um, with something. I mean I'm, I'm using a sort of uh, helping hands here. So we'll just make sure that they're quite nicely aligned. They look like they're good. Uh, okay, actually, I'll do it that way so I can solder it easier. Okay, and now you just have to solder it. Now these are a little fiddly um, because they're 0.05 inch, but then they're not too bad actually. Um, the solder wicks up quite nicely, so make sure you've got it on. Make sure it's up and touching here, yeah. um, and maybe you know while you've still got one connected, you can um, you can just move it a little bit. Make sure it is nicely aligned. Not that it will matter too much, but um, but you know it's nice to get everything square. So then you just work your way along, and you know when you just touch it with the soldering iron, the um, the castellated edges on the pico will just pull up the solder. Um, so the only problem is actually getting it to to make nicely with the board. And you can do that by kind of rubbing the soldering line up and down. So now you've got all those connected, you just need to connect these. Um, so let's move that around a little bit. Uh, and then solder in from the top. Uh, and then we'll solder from the bottom. So finally, um, you just have that one extra wire to connect up. So it's quite important that you um, you now remember to cut that hoop of wire. So have that off. Then we'll strip another little piece of that solid core wire and poke that through. Um, and now you can just solder on. And you you may find that you um you you get a little bit of solder in the way. In which case you probably want to use um a solder sucker if you have one, otherwise you can use a wick or something like that. Um. There you go, and that's basically it done. Um, check for shorts obviously, um, and then you want to take your ESP8266 and just solder it straight on the top there. Um, now if you leave it so that you've got a little bit of room and it's going straight, um, you can still press the button by just slightly pressing down on the aerial. The other thing you can do if you want to make your um, SP8266 maybe a little more reliable is here there is space to put a capacitor and here there is also space for a 3.3 volt regulator if you need it but you shouldn't need it on the Esprino Pico.